Hey, what's up, YouTube? Ezra back again with another fragrance review. Uh, today is going to be a uh, recent uh, acquisition of mine that I picked up from the mall the other day. I've been uh, actually purchasing more from this house. Uh, I think I've, I think I probably have like three or four now from this house. <clears throat> and uh, while I was uh, buying the other ones, uh, I was uh, you know kind of browsing the other selections of the fragrances they had, and uh, I came across one that I tried a while back. Um, Tried a while back and I really really liked it. It's just I, you know, when when you when you when you're doing fragrance, you wanna you always debate with yourself which one which one do you want first? Do I want to get this one, this one, this one? You know, do I want something spicy? Do I want something woody? Do I want something wintery? Do I want something summery? You know, and right now it's winter time, so I picked this one up. It is none other than Chanel Egoiste. Now I gave this one uh, the name, the original. Uh, spice bomb because uh, this one here is um, what spice bomb wants to be. This is a more refined, uh, ma uh, the more refined um, masculine um, adult version of spice bomb. Spice bomb is good. Don't get me wrong, very good, but uh, it's just more geared towards the younger crowd, I believe. And plus, you know, the people that I know that wear it are all younger and whatnot. Um, but Spice Bomb isn't suit and tie, you know. This stuff right here is uh, suit and tie. So, Chanel Ego East. We'll start by showing you guys the box. Nothing uh, too fancy about it. Kind of, uh, this is the original, this is one of the first, I guess. There's also Chanel Ego East Platinum, Platinum Ego East. I have that one as well. I haven't reviewed it yet. Um, but uh, it's pretty much the boxes resemble each other, same sizes. Um, Chanel get the two C's at the top, information at the bottom, batch number, batch code, whatever on here. And then we have um, the bottle here, nothing too fancy, kind of a black cap, plastic. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm, I, you know, I, I love Chanel and I love these fragrances, but you know what, uh, these, these. This presentation isn't my favorite. I've seen some knockoff, uh, cheap imitation colognes or fragrances that actually s they stole the design from this bottle, and it looks almost exactly the same. And um, but you know, so I'm thinking, you know, man, if if uh, if it's e that easily, um, uh, uh, if their style is that easily taken, you know, their bottle design is that easily taken by a knockoff designer, um, you know, I don't know. I just just think it's kind of uh, I just think it's kind of weird that a cheap um, company could just take their design and pretty much resemble it exactly, um, just like it. Anyway, so uh, this is Chanel Go East. Uh, it's considered a woody spicy. It was released in 1990. The nose behind this is Jacques Polge, which uh, like if you saw my lore and um, my lore uh, video, uh, I mentioned that he does quite a bit of the uh, the Chanel. Actually, almost all of the Chanel. Uh, scents, um, at least the the, the men the men's fragrances. Uh, I guess I really didn't look at the female. I'm sure he has something to do with some of those. Um, Ego East is a masculine fragrance composed of uh, spice, wood, and vanilla notes, uh, and that's why this one's so good because it has a little bit of everything in it. Um, let's see. At the top, we have mahogany, Sicilian mandarin, Brazilian rosewood, uh, and coriander. The middle notes we have carnation, cinnamon, uh, damask rose. Uh, at the base we have leather, sandalwood, vanilla, tobacco, and amber. And uh, just by reading those notes, I, I I love a lot of those. Now I've never had a, a fragrance. This might be my first fragrance with mahogany, so I've, I've, uh, I can't really pick it out. All I know is that there's a lot of wood in this. Um, you know, I can I can really uh, pick out the wood in this, so it's it's pretty it's pretty uh, interesting to to see like what woods are combined to make a particular woody scent. Um, so I sprayed this on my arm a little earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit more here, so I can just kind of give you what I feel from all, you know right from the right from the top. You know, so even though I, I kind of bash these bottles, the sprayers do spray really well. They spray a lot too. So if you ever do get one of these, uh, use it sparingly because these uh, the the spray actually sprays quite a bit. So we start off with a fresh, uh, sharp citrus, 
kind of spicy, not, not quite as spicy as it will get in a few minutes, but it just starts off. Now, what I do pick up from the, like, right from the first minute or so is like a really strong licorice note, which I don't know what that comes from. There's no licorice in this, uh, but it's just something I picked up on, which I thought was a little weird. Uh, it doesn't turn me off, you know, uh, it, it just makes it more interesting, actually. You know, it just, it just makes my brain start thinking like, why does it smell like licorice? Which notes are combined at the top to make it smell like licorice and is it supposed to smell like that or is this is that um just kind of uh just uh, like a con you know of, of having uh some particular notes combined to to you know it's just kind of like you know is it something bad that came from something good or something like that you know because i'm not a big licorice fan you know so for me to smell licorice on top um kind of you know it would make uh, the person who's not expecting to smell that maybe turn them off and it may, might not make them come back to this fragrance. Maybe. Um, that's just my opinion, though. I don't know. People, you know, do what they, what they want. Um, after about 10 minutes, though, it, uh, I, the sandalwood comes out and uh, it starts to join uh, the spices that are in this, which there are a lot of spices in this. Um, the sweetness starts to peak. Uh, from the amber and the rose uh, after about 15 or 20 minutes um, and this just uh, turns into a really <coughs> a really great fragrance um, uh, it you know it just it starts to change so well and it's blended so well um, that um, it just it just turns into it's just it's just hard for me to explain there's just so many like good notes in this thing and they work so well together so well blended that it just makes uh, this really great, um, like it's like an an orchestra of notes on your skin. It, you know, if, if you if you guys get what I mean, it just it's a really good combination. Uh, the dry down is probably the best part for me uh, because you know, even though it's really spicy and stuff like that, you start you know all these really great spicy wood notes and c citrus and whatnot start coming out. The dry down is like the best part because it is uh, just smoky and powdery and you get like a sweet cinnamon and you get a spiced leather um, and that did the, the dry down is just it's just so great um, it's just really great it's very warm and sensual um, perfect for like a, a, a cold night you know um, I, I would say this is a date night scent um, because it's just, uh, it's very, uh, very, uh, and I say this a lot about these kind of scents, you know, and I hate to be redundant, I don't like repeating myself, but it is, it's a very cozy scent, you know, it's got some, it's some warm spice in it, you know, so it's a really good date night scent, very close quarter scent, uh, although it can be, um, it, it does have, it is, it has got some power in it, you know, but I'm just saying once it dies down, uh, I think it would come off really well, like you know, if you're in a, at a movie with 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 a, on a date or something, or if you're just really close and you guys are talking, and this stuff will just kind of make its way uh, across the table or uh, you know across the you know wherever you're sitting across the room to um, to to meet your significant other, you know, and I think they'd be pleasantly surprised by the by the dry down, you know, um, it just it, it you know it. I would definitely say it's a winter scent, winter um, fall scent, because this stuff does have some power. Um, you know, and I would mostly say it is for for the cold weather. You know, because it's winter right now, so that's why I actually went in this direction for this one. But you know, if you if you're light on the trigger, um, maybe one, two sprays. I don't know, maybe or spray it early on, and then give it an hour to kind of hang out on your skin for a while, and then go out or whatever. You might be able to pull it off, you know. I think it's, I think it's at night anyway, not during the day. Uh, but I think it's, um, it's, 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 not, it's strong. But if you just, if you're easy on the trigger, you'll be able to get away with it because I think this, this fragrance is pretty much. Um, you, I, I, for some reason, I can see it going for every season. Uh, but just, you just gotta be careful, you know, and be respectful to, be mindful to those around you. You know, you don't want to offend anybody around you, or, or you don't want anybody to be. Um, just to, to, you don't want to be that guy in the room with too much cologne on. Um, this is definitely a gentleman's cologne. Um, this is a uh, suit and tie. This is um, shirt tucked in with a sports coat, maybe some jeans, some black shoes, maybe this hat on. Um, it's just very, very refined, very um, 
it's just a gentleman's cologne, you know. And uh, you know, I've reviewed some colognes here and some fragrances here that are um, that are maybe geared towards the younger audience. Uh, but this one here is going to be geared towards maybe the 30 and up crowd, 30 and up, you know, professional. Uh, you want to be taken seriously. You, um, you know, you're 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 there. You're you're hanging out, yes, for for pleasure, and you want to hang out and talk to your friends and or you know be on your date with your significant other. But you're also there to uh, you know you're all business as well. You're there. You're taking things seriously, um, and this you know it's. It's called Ego East, you know. It's it's for it's for the person that has uh, just an ego, you know, that just knows what they want. They know who they are. They're very confident. Um, and uh, this fragrance, man, it does it. It really does it. You know, I don't know if it's the tobacco and the leather maybe just gives it that really good refinement. But this stuff just, it, you know, and it lasts, you know. Um, some people say this is unisex fragrance. I don't think it is. I don't, I don't. I mean, maybe uh, the dry down because it's kind of powdery. And it's got a little bit of citrus powder in it. Uh, maybe you can, a woman could pull it off, but you know, she'd have to wear it for a while before it even gets to that stage in the fragrance. So, you know, who knows? But uh, to me, it's just a masculine fragrance all the way through. Um, <clears throat> the other fragrances this reminds me of, uh, not that they smell exactly like, but they just have that same powerhouse citrus punch at the beginning it's Antaeus by Chanel and po Poor Monsoor which I have that one as well I'm gonna do a review on that one soon uh, but you know they just have that same like f uh, spicy uh, citrus blast at the beginning and it just turns into something beautiful after uh, after an hour or so um, you know this reminds me of a couple of fragrances now you guys might not agree with me and please don't kill me for these because one of them, yeah, I said earlier, is going to be uh, Spice Bomb. You know, it does remind me of Spice Bomb. Uh, you know, it just starts off with like that um, cinnamon, um, uh, that sweet cinnamon, uh, woody blast, a um, little bit of citrus in there. Um, you know, so they kind of start off the same. You know, uh, just kind of a just kind of a punch. You know. Uh, it, it it stands out. It makes its presence known as soon as you uh, spray it on your skin. Uh, so and, and Spice Bomb does that. You know, uh, clearly they take completely two different paths. But that's why I call this one the original Spice Bomb. It came out in 1990. Um, these guys they had it. You know, uh, what 13 years ago, 14 years ago, however long. Uh, you know, um, they they had they had the idea of Spice Bomb in 1990. And then, you know, Victor and Rolf just came in and, and maybe, who knows, maybe they were, um, they got the idea for Spice Bomb through Ego East. Um, I can see that, though. If someone told me that, I could totally see it. Um, but, yeah, so these remind me of Anteus and Poor Monsoor. Uh, or, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, I said Spice Bomb reminds me of. But the other one that it reminds me of, the Siage, anyway, just a little bit. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, guys. Of Blue Jeans by Versace. And I know it's a cheap fragrance. And I know it's old. And it's dated. But uh, it also has um, a lot of the same um, uh, notes. Um, I saw them earlier. I forgot to write them down. Because I ran out of room on my sheet here. So, uh, But you know. Uh, rest assured that uh, you know. I They they do share. Um, uh, you know some, some citrus notes. They share the vanilla. And the, some powdery notes. It really is more that uh, that powdery citrus floral that you get from this one that you get from um, Blue Jeans as well. And it kind of gives that that. Um, and I've heard this before. And I don't, you know, I don't want to say it, but maybe some of you guys out there know what I'm talking about because I've heard it compared to this before. But it's, they say it smells like Coca Cola. Um, they smell. They said the dry down is like Coca Cola in a bottle, which is kind of like a sweet vanilla powder. Uh, with some citrus uh, in there, um, kind of like a creamy caramel almost. Um, but that's what I get from uh, from Ego East. This is clearly, hands down, uh, notches, notches, and notches above um, Blue Jeans. Uh, Blue Jeans is a beautiful fragrance, but it's 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 geared towards younger people. It's a really great first fragrance uh, for someone because it's so inexpensive, uh, but it smells great. Um, we're gonna give this one the uh, the, the my ratings here. Uh, the Siage. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Um, it it uh, it has a really good scent trail. 
Uh, but you know, once it kind of dries down a little bit, it's, it's it starts to get a little subtle. So we'll either go, you know, depending on your skin. Mine, I'm give it nine. Some people could be an eight, but I'm gonna say nine out of ten because I still, you know, people can still smell it when I'm walking by. It just all depends on where you wear it too. You know, if I normally spray it with with when before I put my dress shirt on, I will I will put you know I'll spray it on my skin underneath. That way, uh, my shirt underneath uh, over my skin will heat you know uh, will heat me up, and the heat coming out will release some of the fragrance. You know, and I'll also you know after I put it on, I'll kind of put a couple more just for uh, for good measure. You know, longevity. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. The stuff easily lasts eight eight hours. Uh, maybe even longer depending on how you apply it uh, but you know like I said before that's what I'm looking for in my fragrances they gotta last long I mean it's Chanel uh, don't know too many Chanel fragrances they don't usually last long maybe there's a couple out there but they're really well known for having good quality stuff for for being a designer uh, the scent oh, beautiful scent the opening all the way to the end I'm gonna give it a 10 uh, just such a great great scent I mean I, I can't promise you guys you'll like it but if you like Spice Bomb, and you like uh, just really sweet, light, lightly sweetened, flowery cinnamon, you'll like this one. This one's a really great fragrance. And overall, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, you know, maybe after a little bit of time, if you know, whenever I wear it in a few other settings, I could possibly even give it a masterpiece, but right now I'm not willing to give it that yet. Um, simply because um, it didn't pop off my skin as much as I would like it to. Um, it wasn't a beast, um, but some people say it is. Right now, we'll just we'll, I'll just give it a nine out of ten overall. Um, you know, and uh, who knows? Maybe maybe I'll wear it in the summer, uh, uh, and maybe it'll be beast then. Who knows? But yeah, so that was a Chanel Ego East by uh, well, like I said Chanel, and uh, it's a beautiful fragrance, guys. Uh, this is a reformulated version. Um, apparently, uh, the original was a lot stronger, and a uh, just was a lot. I'm assuming it's more, it's just more dated feeling. Probably a lot stronger because back then it was just, you know, uh, you know, everyone wanted to have the powerhouse back then in the '90s. So, um, but I'm, I'm guessing this is a little bit toned down. Still good for me though. And apparently, they're going to make a concentrate version of this. I haven't, I haven't seen it on the shelves. I think I'll be okay with this one for now. Uh, but if you get the concentrate, just be aware that this stuff is already kind of strong. So um, I would go with that one first. Go with the one I have first, and then see see what the concentrate um, the concentrate version does for uh, on you. Uh, but you know, I want to say uh, I probably should have said this earlier. But Happy New Year, guys! And I'm glad uh, everyone uh, is. Oh, I hope everyone's safe. And if you are, I'm glad that you're safe. And uh, thanks for subscribing, guys. I think I'm up to like 106. Uh, subscribers and you know I've only been doing this for a few months so it's it's really humbling and it's really it's a really good blessing to have uh, people watching my videos you know and commenting and telling their friends and sharing stuff and you know because uh, it's a community out here you know and I you know it's cool to be part of a community you know especially for something like this you know because not everyone uh, not a really not everyone's really into fragrances so you know it's, you can be it's kind of cool being part of an exclusive kind of little thing we got going on here uh, I did tell my 100 subscriber, Eric Barwin, that I would say, i give a little shout out to him because uh, I was, uh, uh, you know, I told him, you know, 100 subscribers is kind of a big deal, you know, um, and so, uh, you know, give a shout out to Eric for uh, subscribing and uh, uh, PMing me the other day. We chatted for a minute. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's Chanel Go East and... Uh, I got a little mini haul video coming up. I just uh, ordered a few things online and got a couple of things uh, at the store. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what they are now because I'm going to kind of make a little mini mini haul video uh, to kind of show you guys what I got coming in. Uh, I'm going to wait till they all get in the mail and uh, kind of do a little video. It might take a few days, maybe maybe by uh, Monday or so they'll all be here. But uh, yeah, so rate, comment, subscribe if uh, you like uh, Chanel Lego East. Please let me know what you think about it. If you hate it, let me know why. Uh, I personally love it. I think it's a um, borderline masterpiece. It's just such a great fragrance, guys. Um, I do prefer this one over uh, Platinum Ego East, um, even though they're for two different weather uh, seasons, I mean. Um, but if I had my choice, I would pick this one hands down over um, Chanel Platinum Ego East. 
and because I don't even know where they got that from, honestly. They're com completely two different uh, fragrances. But anyway, so like I said before, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, thanks again, guys, for, for everything. Uh, we'll make 2014 a good one. I've got plenty of fragrances coming up. Um, I won my first eBay uh, audition, or audition, auction tonight, uh, so I'm a little excited about that. Uh, picked up a fragrance on there, and I've never really uh, won. A, I've never won on anything on eBay before, so it's kind of cool. Anyway, so you guys take care of yourselves. Until the next video, take care.